dear friends how are you all doing i hope you're all fine i am fine too i thank god if you know that you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back here thank you for your love thank you for commenting because i always read all your comments guys <laughs> yeah even if it takes me long to get back to you but just know that i saw that comment and i did not ignore you i'll get back to you <laughs> yeah so be blessed guys i just wanted you to know that i don't take you for granted yes but if it is your first time here on this channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and who subscribe YouTube automatically will turn on that notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be the first one to be notified. So please do that and you will not regret for subscribing. Yeah, so let's go to uh, today's video, guys. Uh, today's video is going to be a story time of a Ugandan lady again, Bella. <laughs> yes, I'm so, so happy for my Ugandan sisters but even if you're from any country all around the world you're still searching don't get discouraged after seeing every time i upload it's a ugandan lady <laughs> everyone is finding love you will find love too no matter where you are coming from but for today's video we are going to be having a story time of a Ugandan lady by the name of Prosy. Some of you know her, but those who don't know her, yes, her name is Prosy, or you can call her Prosita. Italians will say Prochita. <laughs> yeah, she found love on social media with an American guy. And today she is here to inspire you guys to tell you her love story on how she found love. So that after watching her love story, you will have to use her tips and tricks <laughs> that she used to find love. And another thing for my Christian ladies who always be like, Bella, how can I find love? Bella, is it okay to be on online dating sites? I am a Christian lady. Today's video is yours because Prosita is a very good Christian lady. So dear friends, without wasting much of your time, let me welcome our dearest Prosita to share her beautiful social media success love story. Welcome Prosita. Hi everyone. First of all, I'm going to thank God for enabling me to be here. And thank you so much, Bella, for allowing me to be on this beautiful channel of yours. I really do appreciate the work you're doing. I've been watching your videos for a long time and I really appreciate the work you're doing. I'm so happy that our sisters are being inspired by your beautiful channel. Please keep doing what you're doing. Keep inspiring people and may God bless you. My name is Prosi and I come from Uganda. So I'm going to give you my story of how I met uh, my true love, how I met my love. So I hope my story inspires someone. I just want to say love is still there. True love still exists. So don't uh, give up. Keep praying and keep trusting God. So I'm a Christian. That's why I started with talking about God. What I'm going to talk about is a Christian uh, way of how I found my uh, love. So I hope this inspires someone out there, someone who is not a Christian and someone who is a Christian. So we are here to inspire and motivate each other and encourage each other. My story is a little bit long, you guys, but you're going to excuse me. I don't know if I'll talk about everything, but anyway, so I met my love when I was in Dubai. So I moved from Uganda, that was 2018. I moved from Uganda and then I went to Dubai for greener pastures, like people always say, like everyone always, like people always moving, looking for greener pastures. So that's what I did. It was September 4th. I'll never forget that day because it was my first time to go on a plane. So yeah, it was so beautiful. So reaching Dubai, I got my first job in like two, three weeks. So I started working like any other person. So when I started working, that was end of the year now because it was September, October, then December. So 
the year ended just like that so now it was 2019 so i think that was the time when covid came so many things closed so yeah like everywhere everything was closed we all know that 2020 I went to uh, I went to Uganda for my vacation, my first vacation back to Uganda. So because in Dubai, like every year, you're supposed to go back for your vacation. To some people, the lucky ones like me, I was lucky. I used to go back uh, like that every end of the year. I used to go back for my vacation. So that time it was 2020 after COVID. Like you go back to your country after. A long time after some time then all your friends you you left single they are all married if they're not married at least they have kids so most of my friends now had kids most of them had gotten married me i was in in a gulf country i was in the uae working you know so i totally had nothing let me say that anyway so what happened was uh from there like even before i went like people are always asking you like like proceed how are things are you meeting someone do you have anyone like how far you know time is running people always talk about time so like time is running like you don't have a kid you don't have a husband you don't have this you know look into that so i was always telling people at you know god has a plan why things are not working out you know so i really never paid attention to that even when i went to uganda meeting my friends you know we talked and people were so happy they are married have kids yes yeah, so so let's take a bit of a pause because I want to add something here. I've been guiding lots of ladies. You guys know some of you are lucky to be my babies. <laughs> we communicate and I've seen that most ladies that are single, especially those in their thirties and above, it has been really a struggle and whenever i talk to you it seems like <laughs> my words enter here and go like this i don't know why guys you shouldn't worry about your age i've been there too i told you for me people started talking when i was 25 years old like she's getting old she's beautiful but doesn't have any man you know maybe she will live like that forever telling my friends why can't you connect her to your brothers you have good brothers and they are single <laughs> connect her because it really uh, feels strange to see her still single if you have never gone through such kind of a situation you can't really understand how it can affect a lady how i felt at that time you single ladies maybe in your 30s and above you get me very very well yeah it hurts and you can sit down and ask yourself what is wrong with me or who bewitched me <laughs> you know the jujus in africa <laughs> even if you have that strong faith but every time people talk of how you are single how your relationship are not working out of course you sit down and be like wait a minute <laughs> who bewitched me <laughs> why is that i'm not finding the one but that's not the case guys it's not all about juju and last time i was talking to one of my babies and even if yes people are saying you have been bewitched or you have evil spirits following you if you stick to god if you keep on talking to god that right guy will come and when that right guy comes no one will stop it trust me you will get married so you shouldn't concentrate more on the negativity focus on god focus on only positive things when we come to the age thing whereby you see all your age mates are getting married they have kids and you're still there like how prosita said it that she went back to uganda and all her friends were married some had kids and she was there like her life is not moving forward when it comes to her love life i know it is hard <laughs> if you're single right now you're hearing this you're like bella has no idea of how it is difficult not to compare yourself of how it is difficult not to look at others but try your best not to concentrate on other people's lives everyone has got their own journey your day will come you just be patient that waiting time is really difficult but if you are patient 
to wait when God blesses you, you will be very, very happy and you might even forget what happened, the struggles that you went through. Yeah. <laughs> and another thing I would like you guys to know is that there is time for everything. So the friends, your age mates that are happy right now in their marriages, you don't know what they went through before getting married. They had their own down time. They had their own crying time. So now is your crying time. You're crying, you're frustrated because you are single, but your happy time will come. Time to laugh. <laughs> if you remember Linda's love story, at the time she was single, everyone around her was married, but later on, what did she come to know? She came to know that, yes, her friends were married, but they were not actually in happy marriages. <laughs> Their husbands could cheat on them. And right now they're asking her, how did you meet your husband? Because they are tired of their unhappy marriages. So imagine if Linda sat down at that time and started envying them, crying, saying, why am I not married? <laughs> There is no need, no need at all, at all. If there is someone who doesn't give a damn shit about others' lives, it's me and I live happily in my own world and I'm living my best life for doing that. So I am advising you to please concentrate on your life. Solve your own problems. Make sure you work towards achieving what you want to achieve, even if it is not to find, you know, a white guy or to find love, you want to achieve something in life, instead of concentrating on other people's lives, concentrate on yours. Hear me out and you're going to thank me later. So I'm happy Prosita concentrated on her life, was like, it's fine. <laughs> Everyone is married, they have kids, but I have to keep on trusting in God. And now she is happy, telling her happily ever after. So let's continue with her love story. Kids, yeah, so before I went back to Dubai, I uh, usually when I'm leaving the house, or let me say I'm going to, let me say anywhere you're going, my mom is one person I know she always uh, pray for you even when you're just going, as long as you're leaving the house, you're going somewhere. My mom will always pray for you for uh, journey masses, for God's protection, you know. So so I remember that day I was uh, leaving home. I was heading to the airport to go back to Dubai. Then my mom uh, laid her hands on me and prayed. Of course, I always tell my mom about what is happening because she's always there to pray for us, you know. So I always told her, you know, I haven't really found anyone and we are all praying about that. So that day I was going to the airport and then... <laughs> She put her hands on me and she prayed for me and I'll never forget what she prayed for me. She was praying to God, let my daughter, God, please let my daughter, she was praying in Luganda, let my daughter meet a person, let her meet a right person, the person you created for her, you know, the person who will make her happy, the person, you know, she prayed so many things upon me as I was uh, almost leaving to the, going to the airport. So that day there is something she prayed and she said, she said it in Luganda. That's why it brings, it, it makes me even emotion every time I, I say it. She said, um, she was meaning the spirit of quickening, you know, the quickening spirit to quicken everything. So I'll never forget that prayer, even the way she prayed it. So quickly i just grabbed my things after the prayer and then went to the airport and then went back to Dubai. That was 2020. November so when I went back to Dubai you know it was almost coming to the end of the year then I said no like people always have resolutions my new year resolution resolution so my new year resolution 2021 was now uh start you know looking for love looking for maybe a husband i don't want to say husband like looking for someone you know so because uh, the previous years i had not really taken a lot of, i had not really done anything so i started you no know, now this is the year the year is beginning i have to do something so i had friends before who used to tell me about um 
about uh, dating sites. I didn't know much about dating sites, really. I didn't know anything. I had never been on a dating site. I, at some point, I thought even it was embarrassing, you know, being there and putting yourself there for the whole world to see you. You're looking for someone. I downloaded uh, some dating sites like Afro Intro. So I downloaded uh, like three, four dating sites and I started going through because now my friends had already told me about dating sites. It's not like they had gotten people there, but at least they had a clue of what was happening there. Whereas for me, I had totally refused to try those things and I said, no, I'm not doing those things. So when I started, I went through the things, I started uh, talking to people, but then, you know, I paid for one of them. I think I paid for only one of them. The others were free. But you know how they say like uh, the free dating sites, you're not easily seen. These are the things I used to hear my friends say, like you're not easily seen, like your profile will not be taken to so many countries. So somehow I had to pay for this uh, one dating site so that uh, my profile can be played uh, several times and be seen by so many people. I was there for three months, uh, beginning of 2021. So I talked to uh, different people there, but then I didn't get what I wanted. Most of the people had uh, different motives. I personally, um, I grew up in church, so I always wanted to date uh, with an intention of getting married. I never wanted to just date here and there and I never dated like, you know. So I grew up in church with the extent that at some point in my life we lived at church. That is uh, Mutundwe Christian Fellowship. That was in my primary school, I think. So I mean at church premises. At that point, I'm like, how am I going even to get a husband? You know, if dating sites are not doing anything, the people I'm finding, they are not Christians. They are talking about things I don't understand. They want you to send pictures. They want you to do these uh, weird, weird things. Plus the people I'm meeting, like you talk to someone two minutes and you, you, you're already feeling like, you know, I can't be with this one. Those dating sites were not Christian dating sites. So that's why I left them and then went to the Christian dating sites. So the Christian dating sites were good. I got some people there. Some people I, I talked to and I felt like here yeah, we are aligning, like we are believing the same thing. So their profiles were so good. The guys were talking like, you know, they spoke what I wanted to hear, you know. The bad thing was that I was far, I was in Dubai and these guys were in different places. So I got like two or three people there. But the only problem was uh, I was living far away from them. So they said, I don't want to invest into something that I know is not going to work, or which I understand uh, these relationships really need time and they need a lot of money and stuff. So I could really understood what they said they said no i can't invest in that otherwise everything was okay between me and them but uh, i didn't go far with that i'll take you back guys there is this group i found myself in even when i was still in uganda it's not like a dating site it's just a group that is there to inspire uh, christian singles that are waiting in your you know what to do when you're waiting for a godly uh, spouse how do you associate with people so this group is just there it's not like a dating site i found myself in that group way back even when i was still in uganda i don't know i don't really remember how i joined that group i don't know how but when things failed with uh, other dating sites I was on, I decided to go back to that group. I was there before, but then I lost track of it. I, I lost all the posts I used to see. I could no longer see posts from there. So, but then when everything failed, I said, I have to go back to that group. I joined so many uh, groups on Facebook that are doing Christian singles that are like inspiring christian singles godly way of waiting you know there is this group that i really love so much on facebook it's called uh, her single diaries so i uh, started reading my bible like seriously uh, i started praying like you know i started i did so many things guys like i separated myself i stopped looking for a spouse as me so i started uh i put i gave everything to god and i was in that group now 
now i started praying to god i started fasting like every week i could have like at least three days of fasting or two days of fasting i looked for uh, christian youtubers here so people who have information about godly waiting about singleness about you know so i gave my time to god you know because everything had failed i stopped looking i had been in that group for like four years but then my partner had just joined that group like four months uh, ago so he was still new in that group whereas me i had been there for a long time so while i was in this group one day uh, someone made a post like i said it's not a dating site but it's just a group to inspire a single one day we are in that group and someone posted uh, something i don't remember what the topic was about but then under that post there was uh, this man who commented so he commented with a very beautiful inspirational educational so his comment really showed me that he knows about god and he loves god and you know so his comment had small comments under it so many people had agreed with what he had commented about so his comment like had so many small small comments so when i when i saw that i was like okay who is this person who is this man why is he having so many small comments under his comment like everyone is agreeing everyone is saying yeah what you've talked about is true i love people who are knowledgeable i love people who know things i love people who can teach me in case i don't know something i love people who know more than i do so what i did I also wanted to comment below his comment but i said no i just liked his comment and then went and sent him a friend request so from there one thing that surprised me was that he accepted my friend request in like a second the moment i sent him a friend request it was accepted like as if he was waiting for it i don't know what happened but it was so fast for him even me i thought about it like how can someone accept someone is friend request someone they don't even know so it was so fast when he uh, accepted then i went in and said hi brother i even called him brother of course he was a brother by then i said hi brother thank you so much for uh, accepting my friend request uh, thank you so much for loving the lord i saw your comment it's really you know of course everything ended there he said uh, you're welcome god bless you so uh he told me actually after me sending him a friend request he got so many friend requests but he didn't accept them because i was the first one that's what he told me later because i was the first one to uh to send him a friend request so it's only mine that he, uh, he accepted so we didn't hear from each other so everything just ended like that so from there that was uh, in june of 2021 that's when we first talked i got an accident at work i was opening that door and the whole fridge you know these fridges that are built in built in a wall so uh it's one of those fridges so and fell on my toes so it was such a big thing so i was all crying i was i cried like a baby you guys i don't want to remember that time that was my worst time in the in my entire life so i was rushed to the hospital because we thought maybe i had gotten a fracture or something so when i was at the hospital i told my boss to take a picture of me because i had to send it to my people in uganda to know what had happened to me i was in a wheelchair so my boss took a picture of me and then yeah so when i got home I was told not to work for like a week my leg was all the whole the toes were all swollen and it was really bad so i posted those pictures on my facebook uh, stories i believe god works in mysterious ways so god allowed this accident to happen to me so that the other person can come back maybe in my life so now this is your time or oh, this is one thing i want to tell you people that you don't have to always post good things you know? but this is like four days later when i got the accident i took the picture i posted it on facebook on my story so when he saw it he came back in my inbox and he was like oh my goodness what happened what is this like how are you feeling so but before that i almost actually 
I almost uh, blocked him because he sent me an emoji that didn't look right to me. By then I didn't understand what it meant. So I thought maybe he was just laughing at me, yet I'm in this pain, um, suffering, and he sent that emoji. So he, I told him, you know what, I'm going to block you. I don't like the emoji you just sent. You think I'm joking or you think it's just something, you know. He said, no, 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 please don't. I'm just trying to, to care like uh, i don't mean any harm i just want to know how you're doing like what happened how did you get the accident so i said okay so i tried uh, like explain to him i told him what had happened and he felt so bad he really felt bad for me so from there we started talking i remember the first day we talked we talked the whole day and then that day and then I can't even explain we talked like the whole time so this took like it took us some time talking every day all the time because now okay the doctor had told me not to work for like a week so i was just in my bed and that also gave me time to talk to him like all the time every day every minute so we had that time the whole time i was in bed by then i had a uh, school i was in dubai but i was doing this course so we had school but still I was not allowed to go to school because the doctor said I'm not allowed to walk. So I even missed school for that whole week. But anyway, so that's why I say it's not good for you to only post good things. Try posting bad things so that maybe someone can see you from there, you know. So that's how our story started. That was June, July, August. So he got his passport on express like i saw things working out so fast so fast and i asked my god at some point i even asked uh i asked myself like why are things rushing am i rushing like why are things moving so fast you know it was starting even to scare me because i saw how determined this guy was he was so happy you know he was saying the whole time you're my wife one day i'm going to marry you one day you're going to be my wife i'm like i don't know you we just met it's not even like a year or something why are you calling me wife the whole time he used to call me wife one thing about am i um my spouse he has never called me girlfriend i've never called him boyfriend we, we never had that relationship you know i've never been a girlfriend he has never been a boyfriend the whole time he used to say i'm your husband i'm going to be your husband you're going to be my wife one day i'm going to marry you so these things like started from from the time we first talked and I was starting to get scared. So I was asking myself why. And then the prayer my mom prayed came back to me because my mom prayed for the quickening spirit. And here <laughs> the man of God is in front of me and I'm asking myself why? Because it was like, at some point I thought it was, you know, so fast. So uh, during my prayers, I used to pray to God to give me someone I can pray with, someone who knows God, not someone who is a church goer, or someone who goes to church, but someone, someone who has a good personal relationship with God. That's what I wanted. I never looked at anything else when I was uh, looking or when I was praying for a husband or a spouse, you know. When I was looking for love, I never prayed I never looked at anything, not even color, not even anything. To me, that was the most important thing. Can I sit with you? Can we talk about God? Can you understand me when I say God did this for me? Can you, you know, can you pray for me? So I remember one time when we were still talking during those early days of our relationship, I once asked him, but uh, why, why do you want, to, why are you choosing me? Like, why, why are you like saying I'm the one? Like, what do you want? So he told me something of, I will never forget. He said, I want to be your husband. So dear single ladies, did I advise you that if you really want to find true love, you have to try it all? Yes, I did. I remember. <laughs> and I'm glad Prosita tried it all it did not work offline decided to join online dating she even paid she was trying it all <laughs> that if i can't find you know a serious guy 
if I'm a free member, according to how she was advised, that your profile won't be shown to lots of guys, paid. She was putting in efforts, though I've been telling you guys, don't pay for dating sites. Don't pay. Use only the free version. Prosita joined that Facebook group. Why is that? She was trying it all. That is why she wanted to know the godly way of waiting told you she even followed lots of accounts on youtube that talked on godly waiting doing all that explains that she was trying it all and when god presented a good guy in front of her eyes <laughs> in that facebook group she acted sharp <laughs> so my advice here is that if you are on social media don't waste your time don't stay on social media and keep on wasting your time concentrating on other people's lives i one time advised you that if you're going to follow any account let it be on instagram let it be on facebook let it be on youtube it is because you are gaining something from that account or from that channel if not no need to follow. So guys, let us keep on trying it all everywhere. <laughs> yeah, put yourselves out there. And you have seen you guys that follow me on Instagram that these days posting single ladies that are searching for love. That is a way of trying it all. And don't come to me, start asking, Bella, does it work? You have to believe that it will work. Pray about it and it will husband. happen. I want to be your husband. That has always been my dream to be a husband. So when I, when I heard that, really, I never gave it attention. Like someone wants to be a husband. Uh, it was my first time to hear someone saying, I want to be a husband or I want to be a wife. Like people don't always talk about those things. Power is like, I need a wife. I need a husband. But I've never heard anyone saying, I want to be someone's husband. I want to be someone's wife. So this is another level of you wanting to serve, you wanting to protect, you wanting to provide, you wanting to love. So it means that person is healed totally. They are ready. They are ready to be, you know. So when I thought of that, I said, oh my goodness, this person is determined. This person is ready. So my ladies out there, if you ever find someone who's like that, just know those people are the best. They are ready to serve, to provide, to protect, to do anything. So when he said that, he said, my dream has always been to be a husband. I want to be a husband. So one day he asked me to be his person. Then I said, yes. So we are so happy, we are all in love. And then he got his passport like very fast. He got his passport as an express passport. So uh, sometimes we all think maybe these people who live in these countries, they have passports, but no, you're going to find someone who has never traveled, someone without a passport, someone, you know, so that was him. He didn't have a passport, but he got express. And he got his passport so fast and he wanted to come visit me in Dubai. But you guys, I always had my vacation in November and this was around June, July. It was around August. So I told him, no, you can wait for November because that's when I will be having my vacation. I'll be going to Uganda to see my family. Like everything was going so fast. So he booked his uh, flight and then November came. I remember it was November 3rd. He came to Dubai and I met him for the first time. It was so sweet to see him. It was so he came to Dubai and he proposed to me. That was after five months so he proposed after five months i knew he was coming with a ring because he had told me when i come i have to engage i have to come with a ring so he bought the ring even before he even told his parents about everything so everyone knew and he came and he gave me the ring it was at uh dubai mall so i'll never forget that day though he came when he was not fine the time when he wanted the time when he was almost coming to dubai he got sick and we all got so scared we thought maybe it was covid it was not covid he was sick but it was not covid 
so i got the ring we were just seated there because he was sick so he got out uh, this ring and then asked me to be his wife so i said yes so yeah we got engaged at dubai mall so we stayed in dubai for two weeks before we traveled to uganda because he had to see my people as well in uganda so we were in dubai for two weeks i took him around dubai so he had fun there he saw so many things you know so from there we traveled to uganda it was my first time to travel with him and it was my first time to travel in a business class so it was so good everyone was waiting for us in uganda my family was so happy my mom was happy finally our prayer was answered so and her prayer was answered so and yeah we went to uganda and we had to do our traditional function so we did everything in the house you guys it was simple we didn't do the whole thing of inviting everyone it was intimate it was a family function so i think i had only one friend of mine who attended then everyone else was her family so from there it was his first time even to have a kanzu so everything was so new to him you know traveling for the first time in two different countries so from there he went back to the u.s and like went back to dubai for, because my vacation was now done so from there now it was 2022 around august we started our k1 visa but uh, before that he came and visited me beginning of 2022 two times before august so yeah it was so good so dubai became like his home i've seen god doing so many things for me from the time our relationship started from the time how we met from that like everything has been good that's all i can say so guys i had to take another pause yeah i need to add something here so i've been getting your messages your comments here on youtube your dms complaining that most guys are rejecting you because you are in africa most guys are rejecting you because you are in the uae actually there is one of my babies who was like bella most guys when they chat with you and here you are in dubai they start saying that you are a like what are you doing in dubai and that's when they lose interest in you or some just want to meet you to have them the goodies <laughs> yeah so you find a lady is very very down and maybe this lady is in africa maybe south america maybe in china maybe in the philippines telling you bella it won't happen this is what every guy has been telling me on the dating sites that i am very very far what can i do i wish i was in europe maybe it could have been so easy so let me tell you a secret you see bella here <laughs> i guide lots lots of ladies concerning online dating some we start with online dating and later you find that they feel comfortable to even share with me their family matters <laughs> yeah so i deal with ladies all around the world those in africa those in america those in europe maybe the uk france italy those in australia those in china everywhere guys and if it was that easy you know to find love because of the location then that means no one was going to be single here in europe especially black ladies all could have been married but that's not the case it's not the case guys please please stop discouraging yourself stop self-criticizing yourself because you doing that brings you even more down plus the frustrations you find on online dating sites it becomes really a lot that is why most of you even go into a depression for nothing is for nothing do not believe the words these guys tell you when they tell you are very far i can't be with you i wish you were near just know that even if you were in his country it was not going to work out because what i even told prosita i was like you know what girl 
If a guy is really interested in you, wants to get to know you, has seen something special in you, will do all it takes to be with you, no matter where you are. And you guys have seen the evidence here on my channel. The videos that I've been sharing with you, men traveling from America, going to Africa, deep, deep in the village because of love, because they have seen something special in that woman. It's not all about where you come from. Please, please, I love you. That is why I'm telling you all this. And it is the bare truth. <laughs> yeah, so don't mind them losers. Another good, good example is of this love story. Prosita was in Dubai, but this American guy chatted with her when he was in America. He wasn't in Dubai and he knew Prosita was in Dubai, but originally from Uganda. Did he judge her? Start asking her, why are you in Dubai? Maybe you are there, you know, to sell. No, he did not judge her. <laughs> did he complain? You are very, very far. No, he did not complain. Actually processed his passport and went to Dubai. <laughs> also went to Uganda and kept on going to Dubai. Dubai became like his home. So a guy who is jumping to tell you that you're there to sell the goodies, <laughs> he's already a sick guy. A guy who always thinks of negativity can't make a good husband at all at all. So we keep on with Prosita's story. God has been good to me. So if you're there and you are a Christian girl looking for a good spouse, all I can say is that uh, these dating sites can really frustrate you, but God will never let you down. If you're out there and you feel like things are not working out, maybe God is telling you to start praying and maybe do the fasting and maybe start seeking God. Maybe, you know, God has a lot of things for us in his store. So if you're out there and you're looking for love, all I can say is love is still out there. True love still exists, but it's not easy to find unless God is with you. It's never luck, but it's always God is blessings. If you're out there and you're a Christian girl, you're asking yourself, how am I going to get, you know, that man, the man that God has for me, the man that I will praise him with, the man I will pray with, how am I going to do this? I've been there before and all I can say is that trust God. Don't use your own understanding when you're looking for a spouse. Trust God. Ask God. Pray and seek God like never before. Start fasting. Start serious praying. Me, that worked for me. That's how I found uh, my spouse. So we waited for one year for our K1 visa. That was 2022-2023 last year. That's when our petition was approved and then we started the whole thing of doing interviews, you know. I know the whole thing of waiting for the K-1 visa is not easy as, you know, like getting a visa is not easy because also you can wait for the petition to go through, but then you fail the interview. So, you know, the devil is always there to make us fail, but we are always conquerors. God was so good. Everything went so well. I know I got some issues with my uh, documents somewhere, but finally, God was so good. Everything went through. And at the beginning of this year, we prepared for my coming to the U.S.
so as i speak to you i'm in my own home with my beloved husband the hard-working handsome man in the whole world so that's what i can say so in march 2024 that's when i came in the united states of america and right now guys this is my home i'm married so i came here in march and we got married in may so god has been so good to us and yeah i'm so thankful to god i'm so happy you guys god has been good and i pray one day you find your true love i pray one day god connects you to the right people i pray one day you find your spouse that god has for you be intentional don't just date for for a sake of dating be intentional pray to god you people god listens when you pray to god he will give you exactly what you want one thing i want to tell you guys when you're praying to god tell him exactly what you want don't let anyone tell you oh it is impossible you can't meet such a person like that person doesn't exist people are still there the whole world is so full of people and god knows where your man or your woman is so don't give up keep praying tell god exactly the person you want don't compromise if you want something pray so guys what i can say right now is that this is our happily ever after we are so happy to be married we love each other and we call each other like you know you're my answered prayer i'm your answered prayer like sometimes we even joke about it you know? because for us we know how long it took us to find each other at some point i thought i prayed so much like i took a long to find my spouse but then when he was telling me his story i think he even took more years than i did he started praying uh, for a uh, a wife like long time even before me i was so surprised that he told me he had prayed for me to come in his life for like five years even before i joined him before i met him so the whole time of me praying doing this and that going back to that uh facebook group god was really trying to connect us but we didn't know about this so we are each other's answered prayer and we are so happy about that we don't take that for for granted we are always so thankful and grateful to god for having connected us through just that accident that happened so i think it's good sometimes to allow uh, maybe god to work in our lives so guys me hearing that prosita's husband prayed for her for five years meaning he was single for all those five years and he was searching for a wife for those five years takes me to the question that most of you have been asking me you who are on online dating sites dating apps searching bella i have come across men's profiles online and i see a guy has been there for five years six years four years two years how is it possible <laughs> for a guy to be online that long without finding anyone for me bella i think he is a red flag <laughs> he is a scammer or he is just a player he's just there to play games bella what do you think so i am going to respond to you all about this from my own experience you know dealing with couples ladies that found love interviewing guys that found love online it is very very possible for a guy to stay four years five years online without finding anyone maybe he has been coming across scammers maybe he has been coming across ladies that just want to play games maybe he has been coming across ladies that are just there for business because these ladies exist exist ladies that go to the dating sites only to ask money from guys and keep their life moving they're not interested in a serious relationship they're going to lie to this guy they're so in love and he just keeps on going when a guy realizes it's too late he has waited two years thinking the lady was the one what will that guy do give up no he will go back to the dating site and maybe he did not delete his account <laughs> yeah. so when you first join and you see that guy he has been there for two years you'll start judging him 
oh, he is a player. But in real sense, it's not like that. You guys that watched Miss Kali's love story, I'm going to put it here. I interviewed her husband and her husband was on the dating sites, I think for seven years. And when you look at that man, guys, go watch that video if you didn't watch it or you who watched it, if you look at him, he is a good, good man. A man that every woman dreams of. A genuine man. A very good husband to our sister, Miss Callies. But you're going to wonder, seven years, this guy was meeting ladies that were not serious at all, at all. He was just unlucky. It wasn't his time. You too, you are online, you got cute photos, you know, you are genuine and you're like, why is that I'm not finding the one? But the day you find that right guy and he'll tell you his story, will be like, oh my God, how comes I've never came across you all these years? <laughs> and maybe you were there for so long. So this takes us to your profile. Make sure you have those catchy photos. I'll still tell you this, catchy photos that you are going to stand out, <laughs> that men can notice you, <laughs> notice your profile because your photos are the first thing a guy will see before reading your bio. And after having cute, cute photos, work on your profile without forgetting to pray. If everything is the way it is supposed to be, keep praying keep believing you will find the right guy but stop judging these guys because they have been there for so long yes it might be true some are there to play games but not all so give him a chance even if he has been there for four years five years get to know him before you judge him because you might judge him before knowing him and find yourself you have lost a good guy a guy who could have been the best husband ever a husband material <laughs> at some point i was so happy that that accident actually happened to me because if i had not gotten that accident there is no way how i was going to connect back with this person i missed having my people on my wedding but hey everyone is happy my mom is so happy so thank you so much everyone for being here with me and listening and watching everything i've said i hope one day you find your true love take care bye bye so i want to use this chance to say congratulations to you prosita and your husband may god keep on protecting your marriage Keep living your happily ever after. Guys, let us wish them all the best in their marriage. I'm not done. Guys, some of you know Prosita that she is a content creator on YouTube. But if it is your first time to hear the name Prosita, to see her here on my YouTube channel, she has got a YouTube channel too. And she shares very, very good, good content that you are going to learn from. So her YouTube channel name goes by the name of Prosita Peach. I'm going to be posting it here or here or here so that you can see it and go support her, support our girl. Thank you so much, guys. So dear friends, we have reached to an end of our today's video. Thank you so much for watching till now. May God bless you. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too. They are super, super good. You're going to learn a lot. Comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know. But if you have not subscribed to this channel, what are you still waiting for? Join the family and thank you for subscribing. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao.